Good evening. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I always hear people complaining about things that they've been praying about. I've been praying for so many years for, such, for this and this and that, but anything is coming not right. Praise God. God is always God today, tomorrow, and forever. He will never change. He is God. He created everything. My title today is The Lord Created Everything. My scripture is Isaiah 44 from just verse 24. I will only read that verse. Israel, I am your Lord. I am your source of life. And I have created you. I have rescued you. I created everything from the sky above to the earth below. In verse 24, as I have read, the Lord is calling Israel his people. We are his people no matter how many times we pray and then our prayers are not answered by God and we claim that he is not God, he is still our God. We can prove that in our scripture that he is God. Exodus 16, verse 3. People were complaining in the, at the desert that they better go back to Egypt because they were eating meat in Egypt many times. God heard them. And God wanted to prove to them that I am still your God. We can see that in Exodus 16 verse 12, the Lord is responding to the people's complaint. The Lord said, I have heard my people complain. Now tell them that each evening they will have meat and each morning they will have more than enough bread. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. He is still our God. Even if you have been praying 10 years now and there's no answer in his word, he says, I am the Lord. I am your God. Just stick to God, don't move. Don't move. Don't think about going to plan B. If things are not going right, don't think about going to plan B. Leave plan B, go back to God. We can see Ezekiel, verse six, Ezekiel 37, verse six, about the dry bones. The bones were dry. There was no prayer. They were dead. They were inactive. But God spoke upon those bones. And he said to Isaac, spoke to these bones and see what is going to happen. God did not speak to the bones, but he ordered Isaac to speak to the bones. What you do, you want God to speak. He's commanding you to speak, but you don't speak. You expecting God to speak for you. He has commanded you to, to say the words, but you didn't do that. Now you're expecting God to answer your prayers. He cannot do that because he commanded you, but you disobeyed. Then he said, I am your source of life. He has proved that he is a source of life. He has given life to each and every living thing that is on earth. Genesis 1 verse 24. We also see that in Genesis 2 verse 7, God breathed life unto man. 
and the man started to breathe. So we cannot doubt God and say that he's not our source of life. He has proved that he is our source of life. When you feel that the problems that you have are choking you, you can't even breathe, speak life. Said to that problem, the word of God in Genesis 2 verse 7 said that God breathed life into the man. And then God said, I have rescued you. God can rescue you in your situation as well. Because we saw God rescued the Israel in Egypt. When they were in Egypt, they started to panic at the desert. But God said to them, I am going to rescue you. He did rescue them. Exodus 13 verse 19. God will come to your rescue in your situation. Don't panic. Don't move from the position that God has put you. Don't change positions. Stand where God has set you. Then I created everything from the sky above to the earth below. We hear that God created everything from my title, that God created everything. The sun shines for everyone, even for you that you disobey him, God. But the, sh the sun shines for you because God created the, the sun. The rain will rain even if you disobey the Lord because God created everything from the sky above to the earth below. He created it. We can see that from Ezekiah 38, verse 22, when, Israel, when God wanted to restore Israel, they fought with the Gong nation. He said there, you and your army will be pounded with a rain, storm, rainstorm, and hailstones. So God there, says that he created everything from the sky above to the earth below. In my conclusion, just look at your situation that you've been praying for 10 years or 20 years, thinking that God is no longer God, thinking that God will never rescue you, forgetting that God has given you life. This evening, I just say to yourself, just check your heart. Is your heart in the right place? Can you surrender your heart and tell yourself that, God, I've been disobedient. That's why you were not answering my prayers. But as from today, Lord, I give my heart to you. I rededicate myself to you, God, so that you can rescue me from the situations. You can give me life again because I am dry. I'm just like the dry bones that were lying there. It's okay. God asked him to speak life upon them. So it is your choice today. If you want to trust God as your creator or you have plan B. But plan B does not work. Only God who created the universe with all its galaxies that you can trust with our lives. He will rescue us again. He will give us life again. He is a creator. I thank you, Father.